Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a dummy variable in R. We will explore various approaches including base R, dplyr and the recipes package. In this tutorial we will also discuss the pros and cons of all the different methods. Stick around until the end for a well-rounded understanding of the topic. First we will start by creating dummy variables using base R. Next we will use the dplyr package to create a dummy variable in R. And then we will continue looking at the recipe pack package and how to use that for dummy coding in R. Finally, we will briefly discuss the pros and cons of all of these methods. Now let's get into the practical part. We will use the if else function in R to create dummy variables. So first we have our sample data set data f here. Uh, in this code we have created this data set with a gender column. Then we use if else to create is male and is female dummy variables like that. Now our data set contains is male and is female columns effectively representing the gender information numerically. We can have a look here. Now let's see how to create dummy variables using the dplyr package. So we start by importing dplyr and we have our sample data set containing the gender column. Here we use the pipe and the mutate function together with the if else to code uh, two new columns uh, is male and is female. So we have dummy coded the columns as we did before and we have uh, is male is female and we can see zero, one, zero. Okay, in the final example we're going to use the recipes package to create dummy variables in R. Here's what's happening in this code. We begin by loading the recipes package to harness its pro data pre-processing capabilities. Next we create the same uh, sample data set as before. The data set contains the gender column with the categories male, female and other. Now we create a recipe using the recipe function. We specified that we want to create dummy variables for all variables using the dot here. We use the gender column as our predictor. We then apply the step dummy function with gender with the gender column as one hot equals to true. This one hot encoding method generates a separate binary column for each category including other. So this one. After defining our recipe we prep it to prepare for baking. We use the prep function that is. Finally we use the bake function to create our dummy variables based on the defined recipe. Let's run this code. Right, the result is a data set that now includes the dummy variables for each category in the gender column, including is ma male, female, and other. Here you will see gender female, gender male, gender other, zero, one, and so forth. Let's start by discussing the pros and cons of using dplyr for dummy coding in R. One of the standout advantages is its efficiency in data wrangling. Dplyr's functions make it easier to manipulate and transform data. It seamlessly integrates with other dplyr functions, facilitating a comprehensive data analysis. However, it may require multiple steps to achieve the desired result, particularly for complex data transformations. When it comes to one-hot encoding, dplyr's cap capabilities are somewhat limited. Using dplyr necessitates loading and understanding the library, which might be unfamiliar, unfamiliar to some users. Now let's discuss the pros and cons of using dplyr for dummy coding in R. You don't need other packages available for everyone using R. Base R provides complete control over the coding process, allowing customization for your specific needs. It's simple and straightforward approach ideal for small scale tasks and you're not uh, dependent on external updating of uh, packages. However, for complex data with multiple categor categorical variables, the pro so process can be tedious and repetitive. Base R has limited support for advanced features, making it less suitable for complex data manipulation. The method relies on manual coding, potentially increasing the risk of errors and inefficiencies. Finally, let's discuss the pros and cons of the recipes package 
and using it to create dummy variables in R. First, the recipes package streamlines data pre-processing, making it a pow powerful tool for feature engineering. Second, it offers comprehensive support for handling multiple categorical variables, simplifying complex data transformations. And finally, the recipes package introduces ease and efficiency to data manipulation, reducing manual coding, as with base R. To use the recipes package, however, you need to load and understand it, which can be a minor learning curve for some users. For basic tasks, the recipes package may introduce unnecessary complexity, and beginners might find it challenging due to the learning curve, particularly when transitioning from traditional base R methods. In summary, each method for creating dummy var variables in R has its strengths and limitations. Your choice should align with the complexity of your data and your familiarity with the method. Whether it's the simplicity of base R, the efficiency of deployer, or the comprehensive support of the recipes package, R provides you with powerful tools for effective data manipulation. Hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below.